repeat their 20, 25 minute videos and you, 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 do, you watch two of them. And, oh God. Jerk. He almost hit me. See, that's what I'm called itches. Yes. I looked in my rear view mirror over here on the left and this guy was like two inches from my car. And he didn't care. Texas Adventures with Brexton. Hey everybody, how are y'all doing? I haven't done one of these in a while, but I'm going to do an idget on the move. We were just notified this last couple of weeks that Ferguson Road out here in front of our house is a number one area for high speed traffic. And it's a 40 mile an hour road, but people are seem to be wanting to go 50, 60 miles an hour, 50 or 60 miles per hour on this road. So it just seems like it could be a great road for an idget on the move video. And of course, some of y'all know what idgets on the move means. I'll explain to you as I do the video, but it means people who do dumb stuff driving on the road. I don't look at myself as an idiot, neither does Steve. We, tr we drive pretty good. So, but you'll get people on this road that just do stupid things. That little stick on the left-hand side, I always try to explain, and I'll probably do it on the video, is up means, it's a stick, it's a blinker. So up means turn right, down means turn left. What's hard about that? I don't understand. So my video, I'm going to get it started here. And we're going to pop this camera up in the window. And we're going to go up and down Ferguson Road one way and come back the other. And I'm going to show y'all, let's see how many idgets we get on the screen today. Uh, so thank y'all very much. This is part of Texas Adventures with Brexton. And uh, just let me know. Please leave me comments. Tell your friends. I'm about eight people away from 500 subscribers, guys. I'm excited. I'd love to reach 500. It probably doesn't mean anything. I don't know, but we're going to, I want to reach 500. So thank y'all very much. And we'll see you in the video. All right, we're going to start my video out on idgets on the move. Coming out of the back and out of my driveway, a lot of y'all will recognize it. Uh, this is Steve's house, and uh, we're on our way down Ferguson Road. Wish us luck. Say hi, Steve. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get out of this driveway without getting killed. That's just crazy drivers. I'm hoping I got to pick Ooh, it looking pretty good. I want to make sure I get it centered. Yeah, I think I did. If I get the driveway, then it blurs. So I'm trying to make sure. So as I adjust and we get on the road, it'll be a little better. It won't be so bumpy. Get some air in here. We'll start down at one end of Ferguson. We're going to go down here out to the left to the beginning of Ferguson and go all the way up and then come back all the way down the other way. So here we are on Ferguson Road. So far, so good. Let me know if you see any idgets. <laughs> Put it in the comments. Yeah. This is a fun series. I really enjoyed doing this. Um, yeah. It's fine. Oh, there's... Ah, he's okay. See, and also an idiot would be somebody who changes lanes. And if I offend you and you change lanes without a blinker, I apologize. But I'm sorry. That has to be a part of the idiot. If you don't use a blinker to change lanes. I learned that when I took my driving test. You change lane with a blinker. <laughs> That's why they have it there. So, so far, so good, guys. Up here is the end of Ferguson right up here because on the other side it changed its name to Centerville. So, but we'll go down through Centerville real quick and then we'll make a U-turn somehow and turn around and come back. Hope y'all are seeing everything pretty good. One day I'll learn how to um, 
do a panoramic picture. That would be awesome. I'd love you to see both sides of the road really, really good. I'm still learning all that. I just got my car fixed a couple of days ago. Uh, it was dying at intersections and the battery cable was coming loose all the time so I had a brand new one put on there and when it would come loose the whole car oh look he put a blinker on and he came over that is very good thank you car you're not an idiot <laughs> and as I told you in the past on my other videos um, idiot means I got it from the television show Supernatural there was a character on there named Bobby and he used to call the two brothers, Sam and Dean, idiots. And so I borrowed it from them. I don't think it's a copyright, but oh well. But, you know, we're going to drive down here. Now we're officially on Centerville Road. It changed its name in Garland. So we're going to turn around. I might do a Centerville Road idiots one day, but not today. So I get down here. This is pretty bad traffic down here. So far, so good, guys. I'm staying out of the left-hand lane because that's a lot of people like to turn left. So I'm going to have to go down here probably and turn right somewhere. Let me see if I can get over. Uh-oh. Don't trust that guy. He's the one who used his blinker a while ago. Somewhere down here where it's safe. We'll get back on Ferguson. We're in the Garland, Texas area. That's a lot of history in this town. I got a friend of mine that we worked together back at Party City that uh, he's like works for the police department here. I'm proud of him. I have another guy that I work with who's now works for the fire department. He's been with them for about five or six years now. So, I'm proud of that. Proud to know these guys. Go up here and see if we can turn around. Steve, how's your day going? Going really good. Awesome. Steve How are you says, doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Steve and I went to school together, our, our high school together, and uh, Brian Adams High School, 1976. Pretty fun. We've had a good, he came along in the right part of my life when I needed a place to stay, and I really appreciate him. I'm renting from him and his brother, the upstairs part of the house. It's pretty nice. Got a lot of work to do up there. We'll get going here, guys. I promise. Hope you're getting a good picture. So far, it looks pretty good. All right. Now, let's get back down here and get on Ferguson Road. I got some friends out there, guys, that are running some really, really... Sooner JH Travels, he's got a really good videos out there right now, guys. He's been traveling from Oklahoma through New Mexico, Arizona. He's in California right now and doing a lot of travel videos where he's just traveling along and videotaping. Oh, we talk about nice videos. Him and his doggy. And they're just driving along and staying out in, out in the middle of a desert in these camps. And I wish I could do that. That'd be awesome. I don't trust my car. I got a yellow arrow. I can go. I don't want to turn into an idiot not going. <laughs> All right, we're still on Centerville until we get up to this bridge. If we cross under it, we're officially on Ferguson Road. A treacherous road. We're going to call it a treacherous road in Dallas from Idges on the move. 
And I got some other friends that have good videos out there. Randy from Big Bake on the Move. Hoping to get to see him pretty soon. I hope. That'd be awesome. And, um, yeah. There's Desert Deb. She has a place out there somewhere. Is it Arizona, New Mexico? I'm not sure. But she stays out, out there in the country area. Out there. Uh, I know y'all heard about our... Um, panhandle fires we've got going right now grass fires going on right now they've actually moved up into the Oklahoma now area now so my prayers out to the people in Oklahoma and the people in Texas who lost a lot of I'm not sure how many people are dead by now it's just sad that they're losing all their property and everything because of these wildfires we need a big rain to come in and help the firefighters get this thing distinguished it's terrible um, <clears throat> so yeah, so everybody put a prayer in and everything and pray for rain. They need rain up there really, really bad. And strange this time of year, we're not getting a lot of the rain because this is our usually our raining season right now. We don't usually get a hard winter. We usually get a lot of rain. Spring's coming up also, so that'll help. But still, the fires need to be extinguished now. All right, we're on Ferguson, guys, officially. So let's go. Let's see how many edges we can spot. I haven't found an edge yet. So we're gonna officially go all the way to the end of Ferguson. Then we're gonna turn around and come back the exact same way, the other way. Because I wanna do a video on this road. That Greenfield. Hmm? Look at the little stop at Greenfield. Stop at where? Groveville. Oh. I don't know if we have time, let's see. By the cemetery. No, we have to turn around there. This. We'll probably do that on another day. I this is an Idgets on the Move video, not a Grove Hill Cemetery. There is a, Steve was right, there is a cemetery at the end of this road down here called Grove Hill Cemetery. Uh, the Von Ericks are buried there. Carrie, Mike, uh, so many brothers. I keep it. Fritz and his wife are buried there. There's two other brothers. Mike. Huh? Mike. I just said Mike. I'll have to get the names of But yeah, and then there's also a couple, actually two or three of the uh, Bonnie and Clyde gang there. Ba Blanche is buried there. She was married to Clyde's brother. And uh, she's buried there. And then there was like two or three others I have not found. My friend Randy was in town last year, and he showed me uh, some of the other graves, but I have yet to go back and find them. We were driving around a lot that day, and it was like the late in the evening, but yeah, so far so good, guys, isn't it really weird? No idgets. It's supposed to be idgets on the move. Where are you at? Come out, come out wherever you are. Most of the speeding that we've been doing lately, we've been, not we've been doing, but they've been doing on this road, has been after 11 o'clock at night. So I might want to do another engine on the move on this road at night just to see. Because most of it's been happening. It looks like last night when I was, I woke up about 2 in the morning and I was not sleepy. So I was watching TV. And all of a sudden out front, there's a, there's a red light out front. And all I hear is this car is going, like that really loud and what they were doing they're doing donuts in the middle of the intersection and after one finished uh, another car pulls up and does the same thing they're all sitting there waiting in the line to do donuts in that intersection we just passed that intersection back there I'll try to point it out to you when we come back oh there's an idiot see that guys it's 40 miles an hour and that guy's got to be going at least 50 or 60 miles an hour just now, past us, y'all saw I'm going by. I'm going the speed limit, 40. Hold on, there he goes. Now he didn't even, look at that. He went all the way from the left-hand lane. There's another one. This is what I'm talking about. That's two edges. We might get 10 or 15 edges before we get to the end of this road. But that guy, the first guy of the edges, went from the far left-hand lane all the way over to the right. He's over there in the right-hand lane right now behind the other car just pulled over behind him. And he went all the way, all the way from one lane to the other with no blinker. It's just crazy. And I'm not trying to tell people what to do. I mean, I really am. It's just dangerous. What if you do some stupid 
act like that and act, and actually cut somebody off and have a wreck, then that person, what if it was, you're watching this video, what if it was a member of your family that was in that car and you hurt them or even killed them? And it was your fault because you did something stupid on the road. Don't you have any, I don't know what you call it. Uh, oh my gosh, it's terrible. I just hate it. But I try to do my best. We seem to be doing pretty good. I'll look at this video at the end and we'll see if it's going to be printable. <laughs> uh, see, there'll be a lot of people right now that would come up and just speed on through the red light. Because they think they'd have time. I have been known. I get I get to the corner, like right about here, and I'm going about, you know, the light just changes yellow, and I'm right here. But you can't stop, or somebody's going to rear end you. So you just go on through, and by the time you get to the other side, then it changes red. I don't look at that as running a red light. And if I get stopped by a police officer, then I'll say, "This is what I did, sir." You know, probably give me a ticket anyway, but that's okay. At least I know what I did right. But I'm not going to sit there and run a red light on purpose. These kids, and they're kids. Most of these people that are speeding are uh, driving. And I, this is another thing, and you may disagree with me, but I think the parents who get these kids these cars and they're underage, they should be held responsible for whatever accidents these kids. If these kids get some kind of a fine, the parents should, they should add a fine for the parents also. If they get any kind of jail term, the parents should go to jail because they didn't cheat. They didn't raise their their kid right. Here's my old street right here, San Paulo, where you see it to the right. This is one of my old streets I grew up on. And I remember taking my driver's test throughout these neighborhoods over here. I remember my, I remember my, uh, they used to teach us in school. They had a, a simulator where you could go in and practice driving and all this stuff with a simulator and a video and all this stuff. Then they had, Miss, I forgot the Mr. Music Zabinick. I forget Mr. Zabinick. He would teach us uh, how to drive. He'd drive us around in the, in the official car around the neighborhood. Teach us how to parallel park. I still don't know how to do that. I took my driving test and I made a 98. The only thing I didn't pass was parallel parking. But the guy asked me when I got there, he says, now you know parallel parking is only two points. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, you don't have to do it. And I just said, I don't feel like doing it. And he says, okay, so you made a 98 on your test. So there you go. So I had the option of doing that. But I'm sorry, I just don't think I'll ever use parallel parking. Even if I'm in a downtown area or something like that, I'll find a parking garage and pay. But I'm not gonna sit there and try to parallel park. No, I just can't do it. I've tried practice even after that, and I still can't do it. My back end usually hits the curb. <laughs> it's just terrible. Uh, well, guys, you what? The, you name that, the name of that was the stimulator. It's a stimulator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is Oaks and Ferguson. Over on the left, there's an idiot right there, guys. No. You just saw it. He used a blinker, but he didn't stop at the red light to make a right. Right. He just went straight through it and made a right, and probably going about 25 to 30 miles an hour, just making that right just now. Why? It's just these kids think it's, it's they think it's cool. Their friends are going to think they're cool because they did it. Well, no, you're going to hit somebody or kill somebody. You're going to kill me or Steve, you know? Sorry, it's just terrible. Uh, so there's a uh, right hand side right there's our restaurant built in 1955 or 56 called Dariette. Wonderful restaurant. You can get frosted root beer on, on in mugs. It's just wonderful. You can also get some great cheeseburgers in there. And they're known for their French fries, which are really good. But here's on the left hand side is Bishop Lynch Catholic School pretty good big school they're ranked in there pretty good in the football standings yep all right so we're coming along we're about halfway up ferguson so far we had about five in it five digits four or five digits it's just crazy guys and i know 
orders. I know this is probably boring to y'all. If it is, I apologize, but I just want this word out. If you can do videos like this, I don't mind. Go for it. Can't call it inches on the Moon. <laughs> I don't have a copyright on that, but it just... If you could want to do it in your town, do it. See, I got two cops here. I'm going the right speed. So, that one cop didn't actually stop. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know if it's illegal to videotape. There was a beautiful church over here on the left. They just demolished it last week. God, it's gone completely. There's our coppers. Oh, look, they used a blinker to change lanes. Ooh. Uh -huh. Yeah, now we're coming up to Lakeland and Ferguson Road. It's got a great donut shop over here on the right. Of course, I don't know that since I'm diabetic. <laughs> I have to have a donut at least once a week, guys. I have to. See the elections going on. All the uh, all the guys who are running for a certain house are uh, got their signs up. I'm running. I'm going to actually be working the elections on Tuesday all day from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, they hope, polls open at seven. They close at seven. So then we got an hour to close it up, an hour to open it. And so it's going to be nice. It'll be fun. There'll be about four or five of us in there just sitting there and helping people vote. We don't talk politics in here, but I just want to let you know you need to get out and vote. This is early elections and runoffs and all that kind of stuff. And the big one's in November 4th, or the November whatever Tuesday is that week that year. Um... <coughs> some nice homes up here right in here there's some really nice homes got town homes excuse me see another thing I learned also in driving is when you're driving behind somebody like out there that car right there is too close to that red truck in the left hand lane you should be at least two cars you should have at least two cars in front of you space wise is because that gives you time. That guy all of a sudden breaks. It gives me time to stop or change lanes. He used a blinker. Only one time, but that's okay. I won't count it. I'll give him a half an inch. In. He used one. He used a blinker and blinked it one time to change lanes. But he used a blinker. So I'm going to take that half an inch away. It's not an inch. He did good. He's got something he's carrying on the back. So I can see that's got to be pretty. That's got to be pretty scary. up here about two or three more lights away from the end of Ferguson this is Highland and Ferguson Road this after that really nice area there once you get to the top of the hill you get kind of into the uh, little bit more bad a lot of, not a bad neighborhood but yeah it's it's pretty bad right in here but there's a lot of automotive places here that you could take your car into and they, they give you really good deals like this Mike's tires auto repair over here it's not bad. It's not a bad place. Are we still recording? Yep, yeah, we're still recording. <laughs> the two coppers are about to turn left. They probably stay in this neighborhood quite a bit. All right. A digit. Five inches. He came right over, didn't it? See the Tacoma, the Tacoma right in front of us? Came right. Thank you, Steve, for spotting that. He came right over into my lane with no blinker. What's wrong with that left hand stick, buddy? Is it broken? <laughs> I just fixed mine. I ordered the stick from Amazon for about $12, and a buddy of mine just snapped it in within about 20 minutes. And I'm, I Uber for him. Larry, thank you very much. So I Uber for him a lot just to help him because he always helps me out with my car he helped me with the uh 
new post on my battery. Put that in. I ordered it for $18.99. So when I, I bought it, he put it in for me. It saves me a lot of labor cost. And I don't mind. I don't mind taking Larry around. See, I used a blinker to come on over. All right, here's the end of Ferguson right up here. Once we get to this little road here, it'll be Samuel. I think it is, yep. Then we'll, we'll go down here and make a left. I might turn into Grove Hill just for a second, just to turn around, show you a beautiful cemetery. There's also a, a governor buried here, but I haven't found her yet. I think it's Governor Ann Richards. I think she's buried here, but I have yet to find her yet. I'm gonna look her up and try to find her. I really liked her. She was a good governor for Texas. All right, here's the entrance to Grove Hill Cemetery, guys. There'll be another video. I have other videos out there about the Von Eriks. I'm sure you'll find them. But I want to go down here. Let's go down. Let's go up this way. <laughs> and we'll turn around and come back. I won't, I'm not going to do a video on the Grove Hill Cemetery. But I will just drive for a second here and get you back out on the road again. Then there's old. Then we got a 909 Adventures. I'm going to name off some other friends of mine. 909 Adventures. Uh, Randomly Randy. He's been kind of a new person. He's been watching some of my videos. And I like to watch his. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's get some more people out there. More, more people will come to my head here in a minute. Oh, I got some good friends out there in Florida. Uh, Skunk Ape. Thomas, good friend of mine. I got Shannon up in uh, Arkansas. Over in this area right there, straight ahead, is one of the Bo the Bonnie and Clyde gang. And that area there a little further back. But I've yet to find it yet. I'm hoping Randy will show me if we have some time. But I don't know. We may not. There's a video I did in this in this grave. I did two video, three or four videos, two on the Von Erichs. But I did also did a, a video on a uh, very important spot in this in this cemetery. Um, let's see if I can get out of here without getting killed. I'm good. It's hard to get out of there with that wall. All right, now we're gonna go back down Ferguson. Yeah, there's one video I did here, and. It's a very funny story, but I'll, I won't mention the name I was with, but <clears throat> it involved a tree that I, uh, it was in that cemetery, Grove Hill, that I'm sorry, I'd spent the whole day in his truck or car, whatever it was, SUV, and I didn't go to the restroom. So I relieved myself on a tree in that cemetery. I hated it. I oh, I felt so bad, but I I just couldn't do it. I had to. So I it was it's called the pea tree. I know exactly where the tree is. I've actually did a video, so you go back and watch the video. It's pretty funny. Um, I can't tell you who I was with. I this wouldn't be right to say that. But so I did a video on it. Not video of me doing it, but a video of of after the fact. <laughs> And really, I thought I was going to go to jail. As soon as it happened, we were sitting there talking, I was heading back to his car. Then all of a sudden, I looked back in the background and ran, oop, almost said his name. Uh, we looked back in the background and we saw these flashing lights from police, a police car. And I was like, oh my gosh, what do we do? What do we do? We're just looking at each other. If I go to jail, I apologize to you wholeheartedly and everything. And this lights got closer and closer. And then they come right up to us. It was almost nighttime. It was getting dark. And all of a sudden, it was a security guard for the Grove Hill Cemetery. And he says, uh, you guys about to wrap this up? It's about five or ten minutes till six. And we lock up the cemetery at six o'clock. So, 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 yes, sir, we'll follow you. So we got in the car, and I looked at him, and he looked at me, my buddy. And I said... We both just had a big laugh about it. We laughed so hard about that. It was funny. But oh my God, I thought for sure I was going to go to jail. Look, oh, what's wrong? I didn't see nothing. There was another one. I didn't see it. Steve spotted an engine, so we're going to count it, it as just, six. I didn't see it. I guess we'll go back to the video. Okay, well, 
think they're going that fast. That guy there on the left, that's not fast. We're not even going 40 now. We're going 35. All right, let's see if anybody runs this red light. Nope. Okay. Nope. Oh, there's one. There was an idiot. Just spotted one. Number eight just came back away, ran the red light because the light was already red. No, I guess it's not. Never mind. Look, their light stays green. Yes. We stopped. Okay, so I take it back. That wasn't an engine. Which is good. The less engines, the better people are at doing their jobs. Um, another video series that I do on Monday nights. I do a video series where I do a live on Monday nights. And I usually do it at 5.30, but I'll be helping out with the election on Monday night and then also all day Tuesday. So I'm gonna do it a little bit late on Tuesday evening, but I am gonna do a live as soon as I get home. From six to eight, I think I'm gonna be helping out, getting all the voting stands all set up and all that kind of stuff. And then as soon as I get home, me, Steve, and I think my friend Patty's gonna join us. And we're all gonna go upstairs and we're gonna, I have a room upstairs that I like to do my lives in. And we'll do a live sometime after eight o'clock just for a little while, just to say hi, see if anybody comes in. I really appreciate you. Last week it showed I had 12 people that had come in, but at the very end of the video, it actually gives you your total of people actually came in who didn't say nothing. 284 people last Monday, guys, came in. I love you coming in. Thank you if you're watching these things, but just say hi. You know, I won't, even if I respond back to you and say, hey, how are you? Welcome. That's all you have to say. Just say hi. But I'm going to have a few people that come in and just want to converse. Converse. Well, that's a good word. And I just got to say, I'd, I'd love to talk to you. You know, if somebody new, you're coming in, come on in. 530. It's called Texas Adventures with Brexton. And it'll be a live. I have a live section. And I do, like I said, Idiots on the Move, which we're doing right now. I have another video series called Bone Appetite Texas. And I do videos of just the easiest recipes. One of my latest recipes I did, which I'm going to try to do again, because I kind of burnt, I burnt the uh, thing, was manwich, manwiches on garlic bread. I'm going to redo that video. It was a good video. But I kind of burn the edges around it, and I want this time to really, really... And I'm going to bring Steve into the kitchen, and I'm going to cut off a piece, and I want him to try it out, and just try, we're going to try it out. Steve's going to be in my, my Bon Appetite Texas video. Then I do another one called... My, my newest series is A Walk Among Friends. I just finished one last week on Greer Garson. She's a famous actress. She starred in with, like, Gregory Peck, and a lot of these famous old actors and stuff like that. Well, she had married on her third husband, Mr. Fogelson. She married him. He, he was a horse rancher in New Mexico, but he had a beautiful uh, area around here in Dallas that he owned a big bunch of properties. And uh, she was a famous Idaho lady. She was actually in The Love Boat. She was in Father's Knows Best, which I put a clip on there. So make sure you go back and watch that of her talking and uh, her talking to the little girl on Father Knows Best. It was pretty cool. And uh, so then the next video I'm going to do on the Walk Among Friends is going to be uh, oh, I forgot. Dorothy Malone. I found out where she's at. She's actually buried in the same cemetery as as uh, Charlie Pride. They're all in the same mausoleum. So I'm going to, I'm going to go there and say hi everything and do a short do a little video on Dorothy and maybe a little shorter video on Charlie Pride because I've already done one on Charlie Pride a little short one but I don't know we'll just have to see how much stuff I can find I do know Charlie Pride's son Dion Pride I've met him a long time ago he sings all over this Texas area good guy now see there the light was yellow when I was going through the intersection so I didn't run a red light we're about halfway through again on Ferguson. This is Bishop Lynch on the right over here, like I said earlier. Yeah, Ferguson has a lot of little bumps. Sorry about that. Hope you're getting a good uh, picture. We'll know. If not, I'll have to do this whole video over again. 
See this yellow building in front of us here? Last summer, they were looking for a, a guy who had um, run away. He was, he was running from the police, and he jumped out of his car, left his car in that parking lot behind the 7-Eleven, but he ran into this, jiffy, this, this tire place right here and got climbed up into their attic. And everybody in there had to run out real quick and the police came and they surrounded the building and they spent almost two hours trying to get them out of that yellow building up there. People were driving up. It was everybody driving up trying to get the police to leave him alone. He was a he was a teenager and uh, he was he wasn't it wasn't his car he was driving, he was driving a friend of his and wrecked it up pretty bad. But he right there to the right, right there, he was hiding up in the attic there. That was it was a good they watched, they showed it on the television. We were watching. Yep, yeah, this is Ferguson Road. This is the road. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna try to film. I don't want to film anybody speeding, but if I can get them on film, that would be great. I may do one after 11 o'clock. Might even do it tonight. We'll have to see. Do a short little video of maybe catch some people speeding. You didn't catch one going about 50 miles an hour. Here's Harry Stone Recreation Center on the right over here. Me and Steve go on Mondays and Fridays. We go to something called chair exercises, where you do all your exercises from chairs. And they're really fun, guys. You don't, wouldn't think how much, and I really get to feel it. I mean, you get to feel it in your legs and your upper body. I mean, it really, you know, it's fun. You can actually get it on YouTube. Pull up on YouTube and put a chair in front of your television and watch it and do it. They're 20, 25 minute videos and you, do, you, do, you watch two of them. And, oh God. Jerk. He almost hit me. See, that's what I'm called idiots. Yes. I looked in my rear view mirror over here on the left and this guy was like two inches from my car. And he didn't care. That's what I'm talking about, guys. I had to swerve there. I mean, I saw him coming, then all of a sudden I saw him coming right at the side of my car. And he didn't care. Oh my gosh. That's a highlight video on my on my idiots on the move. Oh my god. Now if I cussed, I apologized. <laughs> I don't remember did I cuss? No. I, well, good, thank you. Steve said I didn't cuss. <laughs> I would have. Man, if I didn't see him coming. I was talking to y'all and I just had to look corner of my eye and it was like it was that it was like inches maybe a finger length away from my uh, car. See if I can get this to bend down a little bit. Is there a little creature in the uh, window? See that little creature? It's my fish. Uh, it's my praying fish, I call it. And what I did is my pastor here about three to four weeks ago, about a month ago, gave me the, everybody gave, passed everybody out these fish and he talked about this fishers of men. He didn't know I was gonna do this, but he said, yeah, use it as a prayer fish. If you have it in your hand, you can do what you want with it after the service, but uh, anybody that needs a good prayer, use it. So I thought to myself, wouldn't that be awesome if every day I got in my car and I prayed? So I'm gonna try to figure out how to get that fish to stay where he's at. He's doing pretty good today. And I'm gonna do, I change names. I've talked about it before. I may have talked about it already in here. We got a lot of grass fires going in in the Texas area and in Oklahoma. So he's called his the fish name today is Texas. Then tomorrow morning he'll be called Oklahoma. And I do a prayer. I turn the radio off and I just sit back and I talk to the Lord and I, I pray for what's going on. The very first day I had the fish, I called him Larry the fish because I have a friend that's going through some tough times with his feet. He was just out of the hospital last weekend, and um, I'm proud he's home now, and a good friend. And there's Steve. Steve don't need no prayer. He's a good guy. <laughs> he stays healthy. But, uh, yeah, that's what I do. It's a praying fish. So if you have anything in comments, you want me to leave a name? Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, so he had a blinker, but he did come awfully close to me. Now, see? I, would, I, I wouldn't run that. I don't care if the guy hits me from behind. I don't care. If I can stop, I'm going to stop. 
if I'm out in the middle and that thing changes yellow or changes red, I'm already out in the middle, then there's nothing really I can do about it. But right now, that well, I would have ran that red light if I hadn't slowed down. The guy behind me stopped normal. Um, yeah. Your ear thing is ear piercing. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, guys, um, I just got a new speaker system where you can uh, hook it up to your collar, but I have yet to figure out how to hook it up to my telephone. We're still trying. It's supposed to hook up to Bluetooth. And I have yet to figure that out. Maybe my Bluetooth's not strong enough. I don't know. But we're gonna we're still practicing with it. I've had it for about two weeks now. And we're gonna practice with it because I'd like to use the microphone and be able to talk and not have to turn the volume up on this thing loud and I can just talk normal to y'all. I have a new camera stand which I can set up and it sets up about eight feet, seven to eight feet in the air. And I can set my phone up and record that way. And I'm just I'm gonna be practicing on these little things. Here we are. This is a lot of times, this is where all the, uh, the races are happening. There's a cop right there, good. A lot of cops out here today, that's good. But uh, this is our neighborhood right here. And we're gonna pull in here. This is Barnes Bridge in Ferguson. And we're about to head back into the driveway. You're going to see some familiar thing. And some of y'all know what it is. I'll do a live one day and I'll, everybody will be yelling it out. I call this, the boat that we're about to see, the SS Minnow. So I always walk by, I'll drive by and I'll say, Hi Gilligan, hi Skipper. i got a car coming towards me. But I'm gonna, I know I'll be turning right here, so I'm, he's going to let me turn. See, there you go. So we're good. Here we are back in the driveway. Everybody, a lot of people, my friends, all recognize this. We're here. That was fun. Now we're going to go in and fix me and Steve something to eat. Because I'm hungry. But thank y'all. Hold on a second here. But I appreciate y'all very much. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I hope y'all enjoyed this video today. Uh... Say hi, Steve. Hello. Look at the camera. Hello. Wave. <laughs> yeah, he was my guinea pig today. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Yeah, there it goes. The guinea pig is making noises. I don't think a guinea pig makes that kind of noise. That's a, a hog makes that noise. <laughs> but yeah, we're we're back to the house. But I'm going to end this video, and I thank you all very much. Be sure, like I say, be sure to go back and watch my videos at Texas Adventures with Brexton on YouTube. Um, please go back and watch and subscribe. I think I said about eight more people to go to get to 500. Let's try to get that today, guys, or today or tomorrow, please. I'd love to reach 500 by tomorrow. If you know some friends, if you're some of my friends, you know some friends, they haven't subscribed, it's free. Just subscribe for me. Come on, get me up to 500. I've heard possibly I could get a Patreon account, but I don't know. They, they, they raise it, they lower it all the time. So we'll see. And it just depends on the ratings of my videos. I have one of my best videos, which is I did on the, uh, when Olivia Newton-John passed away. I did a little short video on that. And it's up to like 97K. I've never had a video do that high before. But like I said, I just have all of you these videos. Be sure to watch them. Monday night we're doing our live, but it's going to be a little bit later, probably after 8 o'clock. But we'll do it live, and I'll probably catch some of y'all in there, I hope. Come on in, say hi. We're going to just sit, talk about anything you want to talk about. We don't talk politics. We don't talk about anything weird or anything, because I do have some moderators that will block you. So just come in and say hi and just want to talk about a subject. Let's go for it. But I appreciate y'all very much. Ooh, my beard's looking pretty good. I've been working on it. Thank you, Lynn. But uh, thank you all very much. And as I say in all my videos, don't let the road hit you in the butt. See ya!